Can you look at what you guys did against them last year and how you kind of got to Brady and shook him up early? Because I think once you did that, he just couldn't get back into rhythm the rest of the game. Yeah, I would definitely say that would be that would be the blueprint to try to beat Brady. Really get into the middle of the pocket, get him off his spot, flushing him a little bit, uh, give him to throw the ball away, and uh, not be able to get into a rhythm like we did two years ago in the playoffs. But, uh, you know, that's easier said than done. Uh, that's why a lot of times Brady don't lose twice in a row and stuff like that. So, But at the end of the day, I think that's watching that film. It's a good film to watch to see that, hey, if, if we if we get pressure in the middle of the pocket and we kind of get him off his time, and, you know, he's not going to be as dynamic as he's been for for a very long time. Dean Pease just said out there, we need to be disciplined. We need to just keep things simple, not overthink. Right. How big is it in a game like this where you know that this offense can, can do anything, can have some tricks up their sleeve? Yeah, I mean, we're gonna, the details are going to be very important. I think one of the things we're going to have to do first is first off is stop the run. When you're in the playoffs, uh, stopping the run is a really big stat. And getting turnovers. I think if we can hunt the ball. I think most of the games that you see that they lost this year, you know, Brady threw, threw a pick or two, there was a fumble the ball or whatever, whatever. But, you know, getting turnovers up there in New England is going to be crucial to give our offense more possessions. And uh, so Derrick Henry and all those guys can get in the rhythm. So, like I said, we're, we're a confident group going into this game. But at the end of the day, it's all it's going to be about executing. As you guys have gone through the season and had some ups and downs, what maybe has stayed consistent about the makeup of this team? Uh, I think the confidence has stayed. I think the confidence has stayed consistent. Uh, we definitely had our highs and lows, especially on defense this year. But at the end of the day, the message has always been continue to improve. Uh, keep doing what we're doing. Keep trusting in the process. Keep trusting in the defense. And it's gotten to this point. But at the end of the day, man, we know for a fact we're going to take another step as far as playing defensively up there to get a win at Foxborough.